Spider-Man 2's New York is a lie, and you fell for it. When swinging through Manhattan, every street feels alive with unique pedestrians, taking photos, dodging your landings, or screaming during symbiote attacks. The city seems packed with millions of crazy New Yorkers living their lives. Developers call this a living, breathing world. But behind the scenes, Insomniac built a system called object pooling. When the game starts, it creates a collection of roughly 200 NPCs stored in memory like action figures in a toy chest. When you enter an area, the game pulls NPCs from the memory and places them around you with different outfits and behaviors. That businessman pointing at you, he's not unique, because when you swing away, instead of deleting him, the game returns him to the memory pool. Seconds later, that same NPC is recycled and spawned 10 blocks away, with a new outfit and animation set. Nothing exists where you aren't looking, because let's be real, the game knows your attention span is shorter than a TikTok video. It's all just a desperate measure to keep that buttery 60 FPS alive. The true magic of Spider-Man isn't the immersive crowds, it's how effectively they tricked your brain into believing they're real. And if you want to build game worlds like that for real, you can start by building your first game right here.